Here is a part of an Air Force boneyard in North Africa. This wrecked B-26 is important because its bombardier navigator was killed by ground fire on a low-level mission. Captain Potter, shown here inspecting the damaged airplane, decided to do something about it on the spot. Emergency action to meet an emergency. Finding materials is no problem at all in this boneyard at Telergma. A fellow can usually locate whatever he's looking for somewhere in the yard and remove it from a wreck. It's a simple matter to unscrew the sizable piece of armor plate in the floor of the waste gunner's compartment in a scrapped B-26. And the armor plate behind the co-pilot seat in a B-26 condemned to salvage supplied the second piece of armor Captain Potter wanted. These two pieces of armor plate, one from the floor of the waste gunner's compartment and one from behind the co-pilot seat, were enough to work out the idea. The armor plate is cut to proper size by the means at hand, even though it's not according to strict specifications at home. Then such items as hinges and fasteners are welded in place. This work calls for ingenuity and skill. The co-pilot's armor plate becomes frontal protection for the bombardier, with fasteners and guy wires to steady the heavy plate. The hinges are for rapid installation. For sighting, there's a slit about one inch wide and four inches long. Protection from below is furnished by the piece taken from the waste gunner's position. This also has a set of hinges and has been cut down to fit the bombardier's compartment. According to the inventor, very little accuracy is lost in the operation of a gun from behind this armor plate and it's a lot safer against ground fire. With the plastic nose removed, the installation is a simple matter. First, the bottom piece is lifted into position and set firmly on the floor of the bombardier's compartment. Then the front piece of armor plate is raised into place and set on the hinges. It is fastened to a structural girder with guy wires. That's all there is to it. Now we're practically set for a low level attack. Several B-26s now operating with the Northwest Africa Air Force have this frontline emergency modification thanks to Captain Potter and his men.